We serve uh, ages 13 to 18. We provide them adult peer relationships, mentoring opportunities, workforce development, as well as recreational and nutritional needs. A lot of my friends were in it, and I didn't really have anything to do. This is when I was young. I was like a freshman, and I was like looking for things to do at the school because I didn't want to go right home. So they was like, yo, come to track. They, they play basketball, help you do your work. They got computers there. They have resources that we could use. So I was like, hey, why not? Because <laughs> I'm not originally from Poughkeepsie, so when I moved up here, a lot of kids are always talking about track or the partnership. So most likely, I just followed in their footsteps and just I took it on from there. A typical day, we open the center at 3.30, and by 4, the center's crowded. <laughs> we have everyone there. It's very loud. It's very boisterous. Uh, lots of laughs, lots of music. And then we usually have them kind of split up. So some of the kids will stay in the center to either work on homework or to participate in one of our many workshops that we provide in collaboration with a lot of our community service organizations. Or, which is the big hot spot, they go to the gym. I was, I'm a big basketball player, I love basketball. So I most likely did basketball, and they helped me with basketball by like, providing us with basketball teams, basketball tournament. We provide a full nutritious dinner. Uh, we work with our partner, Duchess Outreach, who delivers it every evening at five o'clock. And you know, the most important part of that is not that they're getting a healthy meal, it's that they're experiencing what a family dinner is like. First couple of times I didn't really know anything. Like I was like, uh, I didn't know anybody there, so I was just sitting there quiet. Like, and then they gave us, then I started warming up to everybody, like Miss Alicia, um, Coach Phil, all that, they was man, good people, honestly. So I was like, I feel comfortable here, so I'm starting. You know, we're there for their support, and not only their social, emotional support, but also to support them through school and through employment and getting them to college. They help me with my homework. They help me, besides basketball, they help me with a lot of things like personal life, everything else. They were always been there for me in and out through thick and thin. They help us like find things to do. They give us, they get tutors for you sometimes if you're like not doing so good and they go on trips, like they try and make a lot of things for the kids to do. I wasn't planning on going to college at all. I was gonna go straight into the workforce. So I was like, then my mom and parents was like, give, me, give it a try. And I like to think that because track was there, it afforded that opportunity. It made them feel like they can move out, they can do better, and that they wanna come back to, this, to their city, their home, and give back. So I work at Family Services, an uh, after-school program with kids, mentoring kids, helping kids, making sure they're on the right track. Same way, basically, how Miss Alicia, Coach Frank, Coach Phil was teaching me when I was young. I'm doing the same thing with these kids. Mentoring, making sure they're straight, homework's good, school's good, personal life, everything. If, if I ever did come back here, like, soon when I will, I, that's what I was thinking, like, doing, go see them, come volunteer, help out, what could I do there? maybe even join a program myself as a mentor or something. As research indicates between the time periods of three and six are when adolescents are most uh, susceptible to participating in unsafe sex, taking substances, committing violent crimes. So it's really important that there's this safe place for them. Growing up in Poughkeepsie, it was, it was a lot of bumpy roads. Like I lost my brother at the age of 16. Yeah, he, he got shot um, in Poughkeepsie also. And then my senior year of high school, I lost a childhood friend. Since I grew up, he was one of the first people I met over in um, Poughkeepsie. So yeah, it was hard losing that. Like there's, it, they're keeping us like off the streets because there's not a lot of things to do around here unless like you're playing basketball. But then other than that, there's nothing really that for young kids to do unless they're playing around or doing something. So it kind of keeps people out of trouble and gives them something to do during the week, during the day and after school. I was almost over there like every day. Like they saw my face every day. If it was open, I was there still to this day. Uh, I wish people really understood how important preventative work with our youth is instead of moving to the reactive. You know, there's a lot of money in the juvenile justice system, but in order to keep them away from it, there's, there's just very little options. Uh, I feel without, uh, without track, it's like no activities going on. I feel like, cause that's the only thing we got left. That's the only hope we going on to it. I guess I, I was raised in the hood, so there's a lot of violence and drugs, and I guess like knowing who to look up to, or I guess like staying out of trouble. So there's a lot of like, this program is one a good opportunity like to help you stay out of trouble. I have three wonderful staff, Alicia Green, Frank Nesbitt, and Phil Webb, who were all part of the community. 
either grew up in the community or raised their children in the community. So they have that connection and they are really home to those kids. Oh yeah, I love them. Like they become like a second family to me. Like they're always looking out for me, always wondering how to, like Miss Alicia, that's my second mom, Coach Phil. He's like a, a figure that I could look up to, always giving me advice about work, basketball, um, living, anything. Miss Jessica, I love her vibe. Like, she's always a fun person to be around. We're close, real close. Uh, since I moved up here, they always knew me. Don't always put me in the right in the right direction. They always make sure I was straight. So like, make sure I stay out of trouble. Anything, any call, they only a phone call away. They teach me way more on a daily basis than I could ever teach them. And what they teach me is faith, is hope, is resilience, and it's just plain love.